Hey y'all, okay, so today I'm gonna show you part two of like how you make your lesson into a PowerPoint. I mean, into a whole video. Um, so the first thing is you wanna record your voice over this PowerPoint. So you're gonna go to document here. And then usually it's on this, so you would click audio. And then you're gonna go ahead and click record. This shows you that I already have stuff recorded in here. So graphing systems of equations. So you would press record. There's a little three, two, one countdown. Yay. Um, so just like in Hollywood, have the little, they have the little snap thing. I like to do that too, because I also have my camera recording my face, but we'll talk about that later. So graphing systems of equations, yay. How to graph a system of equations. So I would go through the slide step by step at my own pace, clicking, you see my little finger here, clicking each animation as I was ready, okay? And it tells me what's about to come up next. So this is what the students will see. This is what is about to happen as a presenter. Okay, and so I would go through this at my own pace, just talking as I see fit. Yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. blah, 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 slopes and lines and graphing and oh my goodness, wow, incredible. The animation is just stellar, blah, blah, blah. Oh gosh, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I'm just getting through this one slide with you, okay? Blah, 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 uh-huh, yes, yes. Wow, this is taking longer than I expected. Here we go, moving things, uh-huh, okay. That's the end, well, it's not the end of that slide, just kidding. Okay, so then it tells me next slide. That's how I know it's the end of that slide because this is a whole different thing, right? I feel like I'm done. I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording, okay? I'm gonna X out. Okay, if once I feel like I'm done, I'm gonna go to file. I'm gonna go to export and I'm gonna go to movie. Slideshow recording, do not click self-playing. Slideshow recording, uh, 720p, if you want it higher resolution, sure, 720p seems to be fine. And then I go to next. I choose where I want this to go and then I press export. Yay, me. That is part one. If you don't wanna be extra like me, when you exported your video. Okay, graphing system. Equations. This is what it looks right. like with I no picture of yourself. So this is an example of a system of equations. You have two equations, the purple one and the pink one, okay? Blah, 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 you know? Okay, great. Hold on. Eps, with the next equation. So on the same graph, you have two lines. Yeah. Done. Example three. Now we're going to do you get example it. four. It's, it's going step by step the way that Ooh, you decided like this to example. record. Why do I like this example? Because Y is already isolated. Look at God. Mm. Okay? So all I have to do is find a y-intercept, find a slope. Hey and go ahead and graph that slope, negative two. Okay, so listen to me when I say recording your voice and going through the PowerPoint step by step is enough of a video. If you, that, then you're done. If that's all you need and you're good with that, you don't need anything else from me. Hello. Okay, so step two, this is a superfluous step, which means this is extra. You don't have to do this because your PowerPoint with the voice recorded over it will automatically record as a video with your voice, everything. That's good. The extra step is if you want your face to be in the video, okay? This is what takes a little bit of extra time, but I'm gonna try to explain how we make it happen. So first of all, you see I have this green screen. Obviously the green screen's not necessary, but it's part of my vibe because I like to change my background colors. Um, but anyway, so I record myself at the same time as I'm talking through the PowerPoint and recording the PowerPoint on my laptop. So the laptop is picking up the sound of my voice while my phone camera, is picking up my face and that voice also. I have a tripod. There's a lot going on in the background, but this is a tripod that a friend actually gave me. Um, and it sits there while I record on my laptop, right? So I press record on the, com on the phone. My nail needs to be done. I press record on the phone. Um, I do the and action thing with my hands like they do in Hollywood, but with my hands. <laughs> After I press record um, on the audio so that I can see uh, the, the loud clap in the sound wave. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, so you'll need two files. You'll need the file of the movie that you created with your voiceover on the laptop. And you'll need the file from your phone camera. And then part three. All right, y'all. So this is part three of how to make it come together as a full video. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna find your files. So I'm gonna go to videos, YouTube lessons, and I'm going to choose graphing systems of equations. So I'm gonna show you quickly how to edit it, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the PowerPoint video into iMovie. I'm an iMovie user, I'm in a Mac user, so I don't know what this looks like for Windows, okay? And then I'm gonna take the recording of myself and I'm gonna drag it on top, okay? Um, notice that it's longer. Okay, so what I have to do, I'm gonna stretch this out a little bit by clicking this button. What I have to do is find where the sounds match. 
okay? So this is a little bit of the tricky part. Um, so I can see this little, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a spike. Let me stretch it out a little bit, even a little bit more. There's a spike in the sound wave right here. So let me stretch it out, okay? This spike in the sound wave is, I knew even before looking at the video that this is where I clapped my hands, right? Okay. I'm gonna split the video about there, split clip. I'm gonna drag this in front just cause I need it, but y'all probably don't need it. Um, and I'm gonna notice the sound differences. You see how there's like a little gap there in the sound and then there's a little um, similar gap here in the sound. That's probably where my sounds match up. So I'm gonna get them, those little gaps to be on top of each yes. other. So right now you can hear both audios. You can hear the audio from the PowerPoint recording and you can hear the audio from my recording. Listen to them. They're really close to each other, right? For me, honestly, that's good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and take down the audio of the PowerPoint and just leave the audio of my face only because I want um, my, my audio to match up with my mouth as opposed to having this audio, so the personal preference. I'm going to take this and I'm gonna click, I'm clicking on this and I'm gonna click picture in picture. So now I'm smaller and I'm gonna drag myself to the bottom right corner. I can make myself bigger, I can make myself smaller, okay? So we're talking, we're talking, and it still and matches up. already by itself, look at that. Short and sweet, I like it. What is the Y intercept? Tell me, don't just stay at the video, engage with the content. Okay, so if I wanted to move me, I would click it. I would make sure I was here, picture in picture, and then I would drag me. So I think I'm gonna be better at the top there. Let's keep going. With the content, okay? The y-intercept is gonna be negative four. So that's you see the how the audio still looks good with this? Negative four, yay! Uh, and then the second thing. And then you're good. Once your audio matches up with your, I mean, I would check a couple more spaces. And then I'm gonna plot three on the graph. So on your sheet of paper that you should have out, Okay, plot three on your little fake graph. Make a little sketch, you know, do a little something, something so you can work. That's how you learn, okay? So there's, there's. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna check a few more spaces maybe. Y equals negative one half X plus four. What? Still looking like we match up. So nice, so nice, so nice, so nice. Okay, so get Y completely alone. Uh-huh. And now I got a graph. Try to see if you can graph it on your own. So pause the video. Yeah. Scroll all the way to like the back. And go ahead and graph that slope, negative two. Good. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna divide by negative two, divide by negative two, divide by negative two. Video and do the same questions over again without looking at your notes and see how much you remembered and how much you retained. So I'm a little bit longer. How much you remembered and how much you retained. Is he gonna let me split it still? Okay, good. I split it there and now I'm full screen. Okay. I, if I'm done with the video, I'm babbling. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. I'm babbling. I'm gonna title it um, Systems Lesson. Next, I'm gonna pick a place to save it and then I'm gonna press save. Bada bing, bada boom. You have your face on the video of a PowerPoint because you're extra like me. Yay! <laughs> the system of equations, you have two equations. The purple one and the pink one, okay? And the little fancy notation if you want, if you want. Step one, isolate y. That's always gonna be the steps. Step two, plot the y-intercept. You already know how to graph a line. Three, use the slope to rise or run. You just, we ain't new to this, okay? And then draw the line. Step five is repeat. Do all those same steps with the next equation. So on the same.